Mm. Howdy folks, welcome to Coffee and Tools, and we've got something here that's, uh, well, kind of got a backlog thing going on here. Ha, uh, shit, tools are coming in, but they're not here yet, and there's some really cool new stuff that's coming in that's not here yet. So, uh, unfortunately, it got to a point where we're sort of backlogged, and now I don't have, I don't have a draw today, which is kind of a bust. I'd like to have another draw and get some more stuff away, but I just don't have it. The, um, <clears throat> we had a little bit of stumbling this last few weeks. Plus, also, if you didn't notice, we did some shorts. Anyway, the uh, tools I've got today are available. I think, I think they're available on Amazon, so I don't know. We'll start with that. But first one that came in was from Lynn. Uh, she has uh, sent us something in to take a look at, and it's kind of old school, which I like old school, you know. So let's check this one out. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> this was the first tool that come in the other day. That this one is, uh, it's got a lot of features. I'm going to go over a lot of it because it's actually sometimes, you know, there's quite a bit there, even though it's a small package. Now, there is one little thing I'm going to mention right now. If you loan this out, it will probably come back to you really quickly. And in fact, some people may not even want to borrow it from you. I don't know yet. So we're, uh, I'm going to open this up. I don't know what was uh, it. Let me put it this way, it does come in a in another color. The color they sent me, I don't know. I guess they thought it was funny, I don't know. Yeah, that's real. Your, your TV's not broken, your computer's not wrong. Yeah, that's pink, but it's still a really good driver. It has really good, it's made from really good quality uh, steel for the bits. So the bits are not junk, you know, at all. And there's a total of 19 uh, bits that come in this thing. So this has 19 possible uh, combinations that you can use to screw or unscrew something. And it's ratcheting this little black band right here as you twist it back and forth. There's three positions and one for, in this case, ratcheting. And it would be turning the screw in. And I can turn it all the way back the other way. And now I'm taking the screw out and I'm ratcheting. So I like these because they've always been a really handy screwdriver around just to have. Plus, when you've got 19 bits with you, you've got a lot packed into a, a single driver. Now, if you put it in the center position, which I just did, it's locked both ways and just acts as a regular screwdriver. Now the bits, this is gonna get confusing, so we'll count the bits out, but there's 19, all right? So we've got really nice little sector back here where each is, has two little sections uh, in each. So we've got two bits, two bits, two bits. So a total of six bits. And then of course each one has a bit at each end and it has the little locking, you know, steel ball here so it'll go in tight. But that gives you 12. Okay, so keep that number in mind for a second. Now, I'm going to go down to this end. Now the, the driver comes automatically with obviously two bits at this end, which is here and here. That's 14. Okay, we're getting up there. Yep. Now, this whole shaft can come out, and there's another bit there. This is like a number three Phillips, so they really go the big ones. So there's two more there. So now where are we at? Now we're at a total of, what, two more. And then you actually have a hex 15 sixteenths, and you also have the quarter uh, inch uh, hex pattern for nut driving. And if, if you're into math, because you're probably going to say, well, you know, we're up to 18, but, you know, I'm missing something here. What am I missing? The actual, look at this. Yeah, you actually have this one here, which is even bigger and, again, can be used you know, as a ratcheting nut driver. So you have actually three nut driver sizes, the common ones to me, at least for most American uh, situations you're going to run into. These are the three common sizes. And, of course, we can lock this back in. And there we go. And now I've got the great big number three Phillips, you know, driver on here. But if you look at the box here, uh, let's see, it'll show you all the different combinations of bits. Focus, focus. Yeah, there, I'll move back and forth a little bit, see if I can get the camera. Yeah, get, get that in focus there. There are 19 possible bits, combinations of it with the machine. Also, it has a really good grip, which has nice little, you know, nubby grips right here in the handle, which feels good to the hand, left or right hand, you know. And then it also has, like I said, the storage in the back. You have everything stored here in the front. Let's turn that around and I'll see if I can get the cap back on it now. Yep, and we'll cap that back. In fact, that's the number two Phillips bit that's in there right now at that end. 
but there it is yeah it's a good heavy driver uh our girlfriend lynn there she has given us a link to where hopefully we can get a really good deal on this it's it's kind of a nice professional uh unit even though she sent me the one in pink but i like i said i'm i'm happy with myself i'm okay you know that the pink's not going to bother me too much uh, i do know that if the neighbor borrows it he will not keep it he will be bringing it right back to me and say hey you know here's your pink screwdriver back you know i'm done with that that's the way he is anyway that's, that's an awesome screwdriver lynn and i want to thank you for sending that over to us and so the link will be provided below and uh we'll get you but I'll, when I provide the link, uh, I think the link will show you the, the two colors that this is available. I think the other one color, I believe, was gray. So you got the gray or the pink. I don't think it was blue. But <laughs> that would have been another possibility. But what a nice driver. And good quality metal, good quality construction. It's just a, you know, it is really a decent driver. That's product number one this week. And that's the first thing we're going to talk about. So we did. And now I'm going to move to the next product. That. So the second product, this is this is a theme today or something going on here. First the pink screwdriver, and now we're going to talk about if your uh, if your nuts get rounded off. <laughs> this is a nice nut nut extractor kit. <laughs> it's 13 piece, but it's both metric and standard. So it's a really it's a nice little kit to have in the old toolbox if you have to deal with uh, rounded rounded off nuts. Oh God. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get through this today, but here it is. And it has a lot of really cool features. It's made from a pretty good quality steel and the, the teeth inside of these will actually bite down harder and harder as you turn. They also have this hex head uh, design on the back side so that you can either get on this with a wrench or a socket or you can use your your uh, 3 8 uh, socket you know ratcheting set whatever get on top and that way you can drive down on the nut especially like around motorcycles or cars trucks whatever god knows we, we all have uh, rusted uh, rusted nuts uh, around us at times we're living with <laughs> it goes from quarter inch to three quarter inch in size and it also has the metric so it goes from something like eight millimeter to 18 millimeter in nut and i just grabbed a, a nut out of the uh, drawer here just to give you an idea a lot of times the sockets will break the you know they'll this this get rusted they break down and all of a sudden the sockets kind of rounds it off a little bit and the nut becomes kind of useless at that point so what i've always done in the past with a kit like this and i i keep actually several of these kits around is I'll get the right in the size first that would be really good there it is and you know put this down on the nut and if i'm really uh having a bad day i'll take the hammer and bash this thing down a little bit to get the teeth to really bite into the nut first and then uh turn the nut off to you know remove it kind of thing but uh, that's just a little you heard that first right here from uh you rounded off nuts you know <laughs> this is crazy <laughs> and again uh, I'll provide a link down below in the description where you can uh, find this kit and it's it's just one of those things you probably should have in the toolbox in case you ever have rounded nuts so <laughs> oh we gotta stop there I can't take this but oh OMT it's a good quality brand name and that was sent in here to take a look at that today too so there you go pink screwdriver or rounded nuts <laughs> So if you're still with me, uh, next Thursday, we're going to have a draw. We're going to give something away. And I guess you guys probably already figured out what it is, but no, it's not the pink screwdriver. Well, not yet, but but it is this. It's the, it's the OMT uh, nut extractor. So, so if you have round nuts, you need this, okay? <laughs> but uh, how we're going to do this, what, the way we always do it, uh, and I'll step over to uh, one side or the other. There we go. How am I going? How am I doing? And I'll go over here. You're going to just send an email in to ctrewards at gmx.com. And I'll post that right there so you can see, this, see it. But uh, now in the uh, subject line of the email, let's do, let's see, for the title we'll do uh, nuts. <laughs> okay. We'll do nuts. Yeah. Right there. Nuts. And in the body of the letter, just your name and address, nothing else. One entry per household for anybody, anywhere. Even if you've won 10 things off the internet or even off this channel, I don't care. You can go ahead and put your name in for this one too. And next Thursday, we'll draw a name for this. And 
I will see if I can come up with a booby prize because we always I like to have that secondary booby prize for a second draw next Thursday. It might be a pink screwdriver. I I don't know. Uh, next, I uh, think coming up, I believe it is Monday. Uh, we'll see how things go, but we might start shooting as early as uh, Sunday to try to get things together. It's a big show, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I want to put together a show that's uh, for newbies or for basics for buying and using a 3D printer. We've done one before a long time ago. It sort of needs to be updated, I think. And we also have a sale price on the machine itself. So we're gonna be sort of showing the machine, offering a link or whatever to it. But we'll do this long sort of thing about uh, all the specific, or try to get the detail in so that you can really understand the concept of if I buy a 3D printer, you know, and I'm not tech or whatever, can I still use the machine or get something out of it? Uh, and yes, you can. But I'm going to show you how to do all that, and I'll stick to the basics. We won't get sophisticated at all. We will try to do, you know, 3D printing for dummies. That might even be the title. I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, next Thursday, we're giving away the nut, the nut extractor. <laughs> this has been one heck of a. When we put this together, it did not. It didn't sound that funny, but it does now. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you so much, guys and girls, for watching and uh, just tuning in to see what old Coffee and Tools doing in the garage this week. <laughs> and please like, share, subscribe, and even ring the uh, notification bell. We're doing shorts because YouTube said uh, if you do some shorts, it will help your longer videos to be recommended or something. I am not sure what's going on at YouTube these days. It's, it's a little crazy, I guess. Anyways, I'm out of here. Over and out.